All right, go, go, go. We get it. You guys have to pee, all right? Chill. How are you guys doing? This is great. This is an awesome crowd. Thank you guys so much for coming out on a Friday. I'm sure you had a lot of other competing plans. Right? Um, I'm still paying attention to GameStop in the news. Anyone else still following GameStop? I'm waiting for the right moment to reach out to all the gamer Reddit nerds I turned down in college and let them know that I've had feelings for them all along. Yeah. Don't short my emotions. It's real. Um, you know, can we do what we did with, like, I hadn't heard of GameStop in a couple of years, and then we resurrected it, right, to make money. Can we do that with Borders? Because I have, like, $35 from 2005. Who knows what that's worth now if we can bring it back? Can we please bring it back? I'm a white girl. I would marry for money, absolutely. But there's some white girl shit that I'm not totally in tune with. Like, I don't agree with. I hate yoga. I hate yoga. Don't tell me how to breathe. How about inhale? Exhale. I always get it wrong. I, it's always demeaning feeling. Why? Like there are much more critical situations where how you breathe is really important, like a snorkel. Or when your friends pass around the first line of coke at a party, you don't want to accidentally exhale in that situation. It's so much more critical than a yoga class. Becky, don't tell me how to breathe. I did grow up in Orange County, California, so I care about how I look, you know. I do. Everybody does. You guys all care about how you look a little bit, right? I do. Uh, I do, and my dad was very accommodating, even though he was an unstable guy. Like, all my friends got nose jobs, and I was like, Dad, please. And he was like, okay, so he gave me a nose jab. <laughs> it kind of did the same thing, and he saved a lot of money. Can't hate the man, honestly. No, but it's nice being, like, a grown woman, because I have a job now. Like, I have my own job. I have my own money. Like, I don't need an eating disorder to have Coke chic. I can buy Coke. <laughs> it's fantastic. I can have it all. I can finally have it all. No, definitely proud a little bit. Like, is anyone going to get the vaccine? Yeah, awesome. My grandma is not. Because she read on Facebook it would make you infertile. <laughs> she is 86 years old. God, throw in the towel, grandma. Save some for the rest of us. How about? She's very proud. I actually just found out that she was 86 this last Christmas. Because I was always told my grandma was 40 years old. <laughs> right? It's that flattering thing you do with certain ants and whatever. Like, you never know their real age. Like, remember, Aunt Margie is 40 years old. I want to ride that wave till the end. Like, I was 25 last year, but I think I peaked then. So my grandkids, remember, your grandma is 25 years old. <laughs> Don't ask questions, all right? Don't be rude. Save them till when we get back in the sedan. Don't be rude. All right. Although, speaking of my pride, um... <laughs> You know, I uh, went through an experience recently. I went to Wyoming. Oh. Wyoming, you ask? <laughs> there are certain moments in a young woman's life that she needs to push the boundaries. And I set a personal record for a dick appointment. I traveled across state lines. <laughs> yeah. I did. I got on a plane in a pandemic. That is some Hall of Fame shit for a dick appointment, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> There's a plaque with my name on it in Oakland Airport. I had to show up, but like my pride was damaged because I had to show up to the airport in snow boots. I had to put on snow boots in Oakland, California and clomp my way over to the airport. I checked my pride and my dignity and proceeded to security flopping along the marble floors. If it, thank God for a pandemic, because it took me five minutes to get those off in line at security. I would have been removed from the airport for taking that much time in any other circumstances. Thankfully, a flight attendant saw me. She gave me one look. She's like, oh, she's only doing this for a dick. Come on to the front, baby. Come on and take your time. All right. You got somewhere to be. I was so nervous, though. Like, I, I'd never been so nervous. I used to fly with Coke. Not like Coca-Cola, the liquid like cocaine. They're both equally not allowed on airplanes. <laughs> but I've never been so nervous as I've been with these fucking snow boots on. Sorry, Pam. Sorry. I was so nervous, and my gate was gate 29. And all I saw was 28 and 30. And I was just going to rush the wall in between them like nine and three quarters. I didn't want to stop. I just needed to get on that plane. 
It did take about like not even 30 seconds for me to get to my gate before some tool with a guitar as his personal item to hit on me. Like, dude, we get it. You paid to check your carry-on so you could look really cool on the plane with a guitar. How about check your privilege? Because some of us flew basic economy for a dick appointment in Wyoming. I'm wearing snow boots because they wouldn't fit in my carry-on. Leave me alone. Don't ask me where I'm sitting on the plane. You better be three aisles back with no one in between us. It's COVID. I need space. Uh, I get mistaken for a lesbian a lot, surprisingly, for chasing dick across the country. I'll just let that one hang because I'm going to finish with this one. So... Um, I do spend a solid amount of time on Pornhub, right? They had their Valentine's Day special. It was free. It was all free. Like, that's a great deal. How can you pass that up? But I was getting really frustrated because I'm not a lesbian, right? Sexuality is not a choice. This life sucks dick for me. Maybe in the next life I'll get reincarnated as a lesbian. Dream state. Like, if Portia and Ellen have that love baby, that's me. I would look exactly the same in my second life. Anyways, I'm on Pornhub and I'm seeing all these ads for hot singles in my area. And they're all female. Can I get one hot male single in my area? Can I just get like a hot craft single? I would love a grilled cheese. My name is Shelby Wilson. Thank you. Thank you, Pam. I'll see you guys around.